welcome back to Namjan TV. Woo! I know this is my husband's part of the channel, you know, fish keeping and all that. But this time, I'm gonna grab the spotlight from him. Yes. So this is actually the easiest content when we talk about ranchers because we will be talking about the different types of ranchers according to their web formation and their color pattern. Yay! Ranchus were actually first developed in Japan and later on were bred in different countries around the world, especially in Asian countries. Yes, Asian, come on. <laughs> All right, now ranchus are identified according to their curved backs, to their wen formation, you know, to their uh, absence of the dorsal fin and do their overall cuteness all right guys so this time we will talk about the types of branches according to when formation that's w-e-e that's w-e-n when yeah so the first type is what we call the lion head ranch or the lion chew story time about this one is that ranch uh, the goldfish lion head goldfish actually originated from china then they were brought to japan they did experiments of breeding and then ta -da! there you have the lion head ranch Woo! So the lion head reds you have actually like fuller head so their head their wen is actually like a lion yes that's why it's rounder it's bigger it's fuller next number two we have the buffalo ranch buffalo ranches come on everyone come on come on just kidding <laughs> okay so buffalo ranches are characterized as such because of their because of their glove like wen formation on their face now unlike the um, lion shoe that they have, you know, the, the wen growth actually is on the overall part of their face. <laughs> the buffalo run shoe focuses, their wen growth focuses on their cheeks and on top of their lips. That's why it's like a boxing glove. Imagine looking at the boxing glove because that's how a buffalo run shoe looks like. Number three. Number three is what we call the hybrid rancher or the dragon head rancher. You know the saying, you can't have it all that's false in this dragon head rancher because it has everything. It has all the ones it needs on their face. Yeah, like for instance, it's a it's actually a combination of a buffalo rancher and a lion head rancher. When we say lion head rancher, you know it's a, it has a round head. The the wen formation focuses on the entire head, and then the buffalo rancher on the cheeks and the lips. Well, you know the dragon head rancher has everything. It has a protruding lip, upper lip. The cheeks are also protruding with the forehead and the rest of the face. It has all the wet you need in a ranch room. So that's a dragon head ranch room. Now guys, if there are only three types of ranches according to one formation, there are 13 types of ranches according to color patterns. Now before we proceed to talking about the different color patterns in ranches, we will first discuss about the different skills in ranches because we will be talking about them along the way. Okay, so the first one is what we call the metallic. When we say metallic, they're very shiny, they're very reflective. These are the most common scales in fish, in ranches, in fish in general, right? Number two, we have the matte scales. Definitely not reflective. You know what a matte means, right? Yes. And third, we have the acrius. So the acrius is a combination of shiny scales and the matte scales. We also have a lot of them here because they are calicos. Yes! Let us then move on to the types of color patterns. Number one, to begin with, we have the red gold, red ranch shoe. So in, you know, fish world, guys, orange, yellow orange, light orange, all of those things, they are called red and not orange yet. So again, the red ranch shoes are just plain. All of its parts, everything on it, 
is orange, yellow, orange, or whatever. It's red, red ranchers. Yes. Number two, we have the white ranchers. And same with the red ranchers, the full white ranchers should be full white. Yes. Everything should be white, including the belly, the fin, the tail, and everything, except, of course, the eyes. But there is one creation of a white rancher, which is what we call a lemon head rancher because its head is like a lemon, it's yellowish. All right, number three is the red white ranch. It's very simple. It's the red and the white and they are red white, yes. For instance, you think like this rancher is like pure red, so it's called red rancher and then there's one very tiny dot, a white spot on the belly or the fin or the tail, then it's already called a red white ranch. And the scale, it's metallic. Number four is the Sacra Rancho. It's just the same with the red white rancho. The color is a combination of red and white. However, its scale is not reflective. It's not shiny and shimmery. It's actually matte. It's a matte or a combination of matte and metallic or in short, nacreous. So number five guys, we have the Calico Ranchos and we have a lot of Calico Ranchos in here. They have three colors so it has to be red, white, and black. Combination of red, white, and black. And their scale, it's nacreous. Again, when it's nacreous, we mean it's a combination of metallic and matte. Sometimes one color comes in spots, and sometimes it comes in heavy strokes. Aside from that, Calico Ranchu may appear to have more than three colors, but actually it's just the three colors coming in different shades. Most of the time, the base of Calico Ranchus are actually white, but sometimes they're, they appear to be like bluish. So these types of Calico Ranchus are actually called the blue-based Calico Ranchus. Next is what we call the Tiger Calico Ranchu. Now, Tiger Calico Ranchus have more dominant red and black in just very tiny spots of white, um, most commonly found in their bellies and their fins and their tails. And you know what? These Tiger Calico Ranchus like our tie tie, you know? Check out the black color. It's actually like the stripes of a tiger. That's why it's called Tiger Calico Ranchus. Yeah. Now the next type is what we call the Kirin Calico Rancher in which the most dominant color is black. Now the black color comes actually in different shades and some are actually like faded. Now Kirin Calico Rancher has a nacreous scale that means it's a combination of metallic and a matte. Now number 8 is what we call Apache Rancher. Now Apache Rancher is characterized with a black patch continuously going over the tail, the belly, the fin, and sometimes on their head. Now their scales are actually metallic. They have more solid black color, yes. And their base, sometimes it's yellowish, but most of the time it's red. Yes, that's Apache Manchu. Number nine, brown, yes. Before a rancho becomes very colorful, um, when it's still, when it was still a fry, I'm pretty sure it's brown. And some ranchos actually evolve and gets better and better. The color comes out depending on their genes. But some ranchos are just destined to be brown for the rest of their lives. Number 10. <laughs> these ranchos are what we call the blue ranchos or the gray ranchos. And these ranchos are actually close to brown or even black but are faded. That's why they appear to be grayish or bluish. And they, their scale? It's metallic. Number 11. Number 11 is what we call the Black Thai Ranch. Of course, with the name itself, it comes from Thailand. And these ranchers are solid black, plain matte. Let's do that again. Plain black matte ranchers, and their color never fades. And you know what? It's so hard to find their eyes because their eyes are also very black, and their scales. It's all matte. They're beautiful. Yeah. Down to the second to the last, we have Panda Ranchus. And 
it's called panda because same with panda it has black and white colors sometimes there's more black sometimes there's more white but it's just a combination of black and white and their scales it's actually metallic that's panda ranchu now the last but not the least is what we call a cow ranchu and it's the newest breed of ranchu coming from china and in our collection it's actually the most expensive yes Unlike the panda ranchus, the cow ranchus have actually matte scales in them and they came from a selective breeding of Galico ranchus. They're trying to eliminate the red scales in them as well as the metallic scales. So what remains are actually the matte black and white. You know, sometimes actually there are still a little bit of red in them, but you know what? The best breeds are those with black and white and they're matte remember their whites are actually milky in color and actually guys there are full white milky matte cow ranches yes they're white they're matte and they're milky and so they're called cow ranches all right all right those are all guys and thank you so much for watching now i'm john tv and i hope you learned something from it now tell me What's your favorite run shoe? And comment down below. See you on our next video. Bye bye.